It was a warm welcome for Chad Kennedy and his team at Halton Police Headquarters on August 2nd. This Canadian Armed Forces veteran started the Sea to Sea for PTSD journey on April 4th in British Columbia, and he's been walking ever since. I went through a, an extremely traumatic event, uh, July 18th of 2020. Uh, I was one of, first, uh, one of the first responders on scene at a, at a mass casualty bus rollover in Jasper National Park. Um, previous to that, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress uh, due to an accumulation of events. Uh, back in 2018 and yeah, August 2nd actually two years to today was the day I contemplated taking my own life um, and fortunately I made the decision to walk the country and, and try and help other first responders and, and our military and veterans. The stop at Halton Police Headquarters included a talk to officers and other first responders. Joe Barr is the staff sergeant with the Organizational Wellness Unit. He says he hopes Kennedy's visit inspires others to come forward. The recognition that Chad brings to PTSD, the awareness um, is, an, is work that we do in our Organizational Wellness Unit. It's a message that uh, we try and convey. You know what? Emergency service workers traditionally are the first to be there to offer help and the last to ask for it. So by Chad being here, this is uh, just encourages people to, to might be struggling or might be a little self-conscious about coming forward and um, asking for help themselves. This is, this is going to uh, help accomplish that. So what's the rest of Kennedy's schedule look like? He says the next stop is North Bay on August 6th. Where we'll hang out with our good friends with the Rolling Barrage and we will continue eastward and end off this year at the New Brunswick, Nova Scotia border. And next year we'll pick up June 15th, I believe, and do Nova Scotia PEI in Newfoundland. You can follow Kennedy on his journey through his social media pages. You can also get more information and donate at c2cforptsd.ca. By doing this walk and sharing his journey, Kennedy says he hopes to erase the stigma associated with mental health and the fear of being judged. Don't worry about the judges. Take care of you. Uh, if you can't take care of yourself, you're not going to be able to take care of others. It's kind of uniting us all together and, and reminding people it's okay not to be okay. For Halton News in Oakville, I'm Melissa Candelaria.